hey guys welcome back to another video it's a girl shan shan so guys let me tell you what's going on in my life right now so you know i have finals coming up um yes so i'm preparing for those guys like guys it's a lot of work it's a lot of work it's a lot of reading a lot of analyzation a lot it's just a lot so that is why i've been like missing in action and because i have to put in the work and i have to keep on my a game come on guys you guys know what i'm talking about so guys um i've been just focusing on my school work uh, you know i'm a mom i'm a full-time mom a full-time student I'm a full-time Shani, so I have to deal with those full-time things, those try those full-time things. So guys, I've been like so occupied. I barely have time to make videos because like being a mom is a whole job. Like it's a whole diff is that you guys know. Person who are parents watching me, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a whole job. It's a full-time job to be a parent. So, you know, I have to, like, wake up early to go to school, like, from 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. And I normally reach home, like, um, on a basis, um, a regular time. I, I normally reach home, like, 5, 6 sometimes. So, it's kind of draining for me to, like, and I have to go to school, like, five times a week. So, it's kind of draining to, like, keep you guys up to date it and um, but i know i'm not doing a good job of it but i'm going to improve trust me so i'm learning now this i'm reach a point in my life where i have to learn how to time manage so i'm learning how to manage school manage being a mom manage being a shane manage like doing youtube manage like everything in my life now so i'm at this point where i just want to you know do my best and excel i know you because i know you guys that uh, you guys believe in me right i know you guys believe in me have so much high hopes for me and i really wish i want to execute and do my best you know like i want to do the best that i can do so i'm trying to like invest in myself meaning that spend time like investing in my knowledge that that is what i mean when i'm investing in myself so that is it so what i'm up to um i'm here to talk about guys um like some things that god has been doing in my life but before i start talking on today's topic i want to thank um auntie dp she sent me $50 to buy a Christmas tree. And I'm going to buy that Christmas tree and I'm going to decorate it and show you. But um, just give me a little time so I can like organize myself a little more. Um, I want to thank Dr. Charmin for helping me out throughout the weeks. She sent me $200. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Guys, if it wasn't for your help, guys i don't know who oh what i make out guys you don't you guys are so loving and caring and you guys look up for me so much like without you guys i wouldn't be here where i am right now and i have to give thanks and big up halanka nation all the time and planka boss auntie dana thank you so much for believing in me and giving me a chance to like excel and to do to do my passion so i want to talk about like things that god has been doing in my life so you know you guys know my story if you're new here i'm shani bows i'm 20 years old i am a full-time law student thanks to planka nation and the planka boss and everybody who donated to help me pay for my first year tuition and that's like a little synopsis of who i am so basically if you're new here i'm just introducing myself again um i'm a full-time mom as i said i go to the school the plan connection helped me to pay my tuition and i'm doing land currently now and i've been like struggling guys i've been struggling like with time management 
you know everything that comes with school everything that comes with parenthood because it's a new thing for me i'm young um i don't really have the guidance that i wish i had but thanks be to god god is helping me to like be the best version of myself be the best mom i can be and be the best student so um you know it's a struggle it's a struggle to go like be a full-time mom and doing a, a full-time course which is law like law is very demanding and you have to be on your game you got to get on your zone you got to get on your zone every day i'm telling you you got to be on your zone you have to be like, you have to be on your a game and you have to just execute 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 i'm telling you um so you know i'm just trying to like be a good mom and be a a student and be the best version of myself because you know i can't forget myself as a mom and i think i've been struggling with my own identity as in who am i because you know i'm young i'm 20 years old i haven't figured out life as yet i know a lot of people might say well you're 20 and you're going to law school you must figure out you must know this you must know that but in reality i really and truly don't know it um take step back put your you put your foot in my shoes and say when i was 20 did i know this did i do this i did i didn't so guys don't just be like you should know this is you should know that that's the day and age that we live in remember when you're 20 and what was it like being 20 another thing you know i've been like struggling with like um finances because you know i'm a mom and a full-time student um i do side also which is like youtubes i sell city sometimes and you know i i try to look for work but unfortunately i haven't got any work so now i have to support my son and support myself financially and you know that's a little draining because you know diapers have to be bought feeding have to be bought um you know little stuff if he's sick have to bring him go to the doctor so it's it's a struggle but god has been so good to me that's the one of the main thing god has been doing for me he has helped me like sometime when i feel so low low and down and i don't know what to do do i have the money do i have nobody to call and say hey what's up um can i get this this god sent somebody without me asking like i asked god and he sent somebody so that's one of the good things that I have to give thanks, God thanks for. I haven't missed any day since school started. I haven't missed any day from school. That is because person have been reaching out to me and helping me to um, go to school. And I really appreciate that because, you know, when I lost my job, it was a shock to me. And because I thought that I could go to school and do law and just I would be okay but then i see that nobody's willing to employ you if you're going to school full time no um and then you know i just lost my work like that so that came with a lot of dis disadvantages losing my work so thank god for that thank god for like being helping me to be stable not stable like how i want it to be but at least i can i i can like at least he provides for me sometimes i don't know this is the honest truth sometimes guys i don't know where the next meal is coming from or where the next where the next step is where i'm going to get bus fare for next week also i want to thank god for like helping me throughout my school my semester like i couldn't do it without god guys keep in mind i wake up from five four in the morning and i reach home six five sometimes so that's more than 12 hours at school and for me to not be like behind and not be like not retaining anything i want to thank god for that because guys trust me it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and when and when somebody get a in college especially in law i'm telling you guys they did the work and it's a lot and a b like guys sometimes when we we when i was younger a, a, a b 
and a B plus wasn't that for me but now in college we learn to appreciate the small grades like A and B and the B minus and a B plus because guys you have to work very hard to get that A you have to work very hard to get that B and that B minus B plus and that B minus guys that's the honest truth you have to work so hard and guys um I see that God has been helping me like to 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 like let me understand what is going on you know let me understand and let me can digest the information that is given in my class yes so i have a series of exams coming up guys pray for me pray for me pray for me pray for me guys because i want to do well on these exams so um you know it will make my gpa like be up you know up i want i like you know a 3.0 or a 3.5 a 4 gpa i want <laughs> I was speaking into beat so yes guys so yeah i want like to a tree up upwards 3.0 gpa upwards upwards so guys help me pray for me G guys i know you guys have been praying for me because i couldn't do it without you guys um guys sometimes i feel you know as i said before you guys have been like supporting me like once so sometimes i would just be sitting on my phone or doing something and then i see a message come in good uh, good afternoon or good night niece um hope you're having a blessed day i'm praying for you pray for your family you know those little messages may fool my heart because i say i'm saying like persons out there really have my best interest at heart and not everybody wants to see me fail and not everybody didn't believe in me and not everybody just you know throw me to the side you know and just disregard me persons out there actually care about me yes and you know to see that most of my family just they didn't believe in me they didn't give me a chance they didn't they didn't they didn't give me a chance even if they could give me a chance they didn't give me a chance and i see that strangers out there that i've never met they just see me on the program they see watch my youtube they watch my channel they reach out to me and be so helpful like show this i can count on my one hand how much of my family members said congratulations one hand like one hand like literally and i don't think it passed four or three so you guys understand what i am you know i don't have like a family support so for you guys to be like my family i really appreciate it because you guys are, are a part of my family now you are a part of my journey you are a part of me and my son's life so i really want to thank you guys so like believe in me <laughs> believe in me you guys are so amazing and i'm holding back the tears guys because I remember the days that um i wanted just one person to believe in me and now thousands of persons believing in me thousands of persons are like like watching my youtube thousands of persons i'm reaching out to and i hope that i can be a blessing in your life and i hope that i can change someone at least one person out of the thousand one person point of view like there is something to live for there is something to live for i know it might sound cliche but guys believe you know because if i listen to the doubt and the negativity and the devil tell him say you can't do it give up just give up on this journey of life just all those negative things i wouldn't be here right now but the grace of god but god god did this god did this god is a big thing he's the big man he's the great i am he's the lord of lords let that sink in he's the lord of lords guys you see if i listen to that negativity and those negative comments i wouldn't have be right here where i am because i would have passed a long time gone gone when the devil said hurt yourself do this do that i would have gone long time nobody would know i'm chani bows 
you guys would have, there was wouldn't be a shiny balls right here but the lord saved me because he said you uh this is not the end of your journey i have a purpose for you and today i'm here to encourage you look you 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 right there you that god is not finished with you the moment you wake up every day i have breath in your body i have the ability to live and carry on he is not finished with you you are going to be a living testament you are going to be so uplifted that you are going to help the persons that pulled you down okay i remember guys seven times fall seven times right rise seven times fall seven times right plus more you have to believe in yourself because the it starts with you it starts with you you believing in yourself and you giving yourself a chance because sometimes we cannot give ourselves a chance you know sometimes we can be so we can be so mean and selfish to ourselves like you can't do that why are you going to try that no give yourself a chance it better you try and fail than fail to try always make that sinking with you always remember that little saying it's better to try and fail than fail to try we need to give ourselves a little slack and understand that listen it's not all the time we're going to succeed and it's not all the time we're going to be on top sometimes we have to fall for us to rise above everything rise to the pinnacle rise to the highest height you know because you have to understand that your 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 attitude determines your altitude. You have to understand that your positive attitude is going to have positive altitude, meaning that you're going to go high. Your negative attitude is going to determine the depth of how you go. So guys, I'm encouraging you right now. Listen, be kind to yourself, give yourself a break. Don't be so hard on yourself everything in life takes time everything in life takes time and for you to be the germ that you are the diamond that you're going to be you have to go through some hard patches and i just want to thank everybody again guys you guys don't understand how you have been a blessing in my life and in my family life because guys the journey is not easy and especially you guys you guys have children that go to college or you are going to college yourself you know that when you when you're going to college you don't have no money no money at all when a side hustling or whatever it's hard for you because you have to manage school and if you're a parent you have to manage your parenthood you have to manage um yourself you have to manage your whole soul you know you know you have so much obligation to fulfill and you have to keep abreast with them you have to manage school life school alone school alone is stress imagine adding to that stress but you see when you have god and i've learned i'm learning because i'm not i'm not old and i'm not big or anything but i'm learning now to lean on god when i feel weary i'm learning how to let go and lean on him because I can't do all these things by myself somebody have to help me and who who better to help me than jesus christ himself i have to just leave everything in god's hands guys because if i take up everything and say i'm going to do this on my own i'm going to do that i'm going to do that it's not going to come true because i can't manage on my own you know so god is there pushing me and cheering for me and helping me and when i feel the, the race of life beat me bad i just lean on jesus christ and you know him reagate me with some um gatorade and give me some glucose and some orange to drink and then i take on back this race of life because this race it has a lot of lessons for me to learn and for me to become the gem and the diamond that i am i have to go through some pressure some pressure to compose me to mold me into the gem and diamond that i am so i'm encouraging you right now have faith and don't let go of jesus christ because he won't let go of you and i hope that i can like touch at least one person's life like guys person tell me that let me tell you what some comments i've got over the year the years 
you talk bad you're never going to reach anywhere you're from the ghetto um you're poor you're 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 black people yes people actually say that in jamaica you're black they 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 we have like classism classism and like colorist we are colorists if you didn't know you're black um so much you sorry you're dumb you're never going to reach anywhere you're never going to go far and you can't those are like some of the few comments that I've gotten over the years. And did I make that alter me? No. I used those those negative blocks that people throw in front of me. I use it to elevate and step on it. Because you can't. I can't. Me can't, you know, to be honest, I can't. I can't do anything. I can't, I can't, I, I can't elevate but it's the god where i serve he can so you can't i can't but you see the god where i serve he can so is it true i serve him he's going to make me can so it's not me doing anything it's god himself doing it for me and because you see i have faith and my trust in god i might be young and i'm not perfect nowhere near perfect but i have faith and you see faith a small seed of faith it can move a mountain a mustard seed of faith can move a mountain and i'm a living testimony to that how much person you know want to go to the university in the inner city can we not talk about uptown person because we know you guys are most times born into riches and your tuition was paid for from before you were conceived but we're not talking about those persons we're talking about persons that it was impossible for them to even get a tertiary even our a, a secondary education how much person do you know can just say okay you say i can't you say i can't but i can by the grace of god god is going to help me and can do it for me guys it's god alone do these things i'm tired for telling you know god alone do them something here god is the big man he's the great i am and let that sink in let that you let them know that the daddy jesus you serve he's bigger than any i can't him bigger than that he's gonna lick off the apostrophe and lick off the tea there and say i can and you can no matter what anybody that wants to come and say if if your mother or your best friend or your your partner or your cousin or your family member anybody that come a stranger and say you can't you can't to be very honest to be very frank but you see your god your god can and he's going to give you the ability so you can do it believe in god and don't give up on that dream you see that dream that you have from you were a little girl that dream that you saw yourself several times visioning go for it no matter what better you go for it and then you fail and then you say oh well, at least god i did try then you sit down and don't try anything you're going to feel so bad you're going to regret it you see regret is one of the most hurtful thing that you can ever live with because it never goes away and it keep on coming back and stabbing you in that chest so guys go for what you want and don't give up i love you guys Bye. God bless and God keep you guys safe and happy Christmas when it comes and guys I'm I'm going to try to post more because I know that you guys want you know want to like see what's going on in Shani's life what's happening but th that is this video is a little synopsis of what's going on in my life and I do encourage you to pray get a prayer partner if you can call a prayer sister somebody and pray because prayer and faith move mountain love you guys bye